Have you ever pondered the mysteries that lie beneath the ocean's surface in its darkest, unexplored corners? An intriguing question indeed and one that we'll delve into today. You see, the ocean's uncharted depths are like a vast alien world right here on our planet. They hold secrets that we are just beginning to understand. In fact, it's a little-known truth that we know less about our own oceanic depths than we do about the farthest reaches of outer space. Diving into the abyss is no easy feat. The challenges of deep-sea exploration are manifold. The crushing pressures, the frigid temperatures, the complete absence of light, these make the ocean's depths some of the most inhospitable environments on Earth. Yet they are teeming with life, with creatures as surreal and diverse as anything you'd find in a science fiction novel. Yet despite these challenges, we've barely scratched the surface of the ocean's vastness. Think about this. The ocean makes up about 70% of our planet's surface, and of that, more than 80% is unmapped, unobserved, and unexplored. That's a huge amount of uncharted territory, a realm of mysteries waiting to be discovered. But why, you might ask, should we care about these dark, unseen corners of our world? Well, the answers are as varied as the creatures that inhabit these depths. It's about understanding our planet, about uncovering new species that could unlock medical and scientific breakthroughs, about finding resources that could help sustain future generations. But most of all, it's about curiosity, that insatiable human desire to explore the unknown, to push our boundaries, to discover what lies beyond the horizon. The ocean's depths are our final frontier, a world that is as alien to us as the surface of Mars or the rings of Saturn. So buckle up as we dive deep into the ocean's hidden wonders. It's going to be a journey of discovery, of adventure, and of understanding our place in this vast, mysterious world. Imagine creatures so peculiar and alien, they might as well be from another planet. Let's take a dive into the deep, where sunlight becomes a distant memory and the pressure can crush a submarine. Here, in the abyss, life has taken on forms that are nothing short of extraordinary. Meet the bioluminescent organisms, the stars of the deep sea, these creatures have the ability to produce their own light, a feature known as bioluminescence. Among them, we have the anglerfish, a predator that uses its glowing lure to attract unsuspecting prey. Then there's the vampire squid, a creature that releases bioluminescent mucus to confuse predators. But it's not all about defense and predation. Some species use their light for communication, turning the deep sea into a silent disco of flashing signals. But bioluminescence isn't the only trick up their sleeves. The deep sea is a place of extreme conditions, pitch black, freezing cold, and immense pressure, yet life thrives here. Take the Yeti crab, for instance, a creature that has adapted to live near hydrothermal vents where temperatures can reach boiling point. These crabs have evolved hairy chests filled with bacteria that detoxify the poisonous chemicals spewing from the vents. Or consider the barrel eye fish, a species with a transparent head and upward-facing eyes. This bizarre adaptation allows the barrel eye to spot prey above while remaining hidden in the darkness below. And let's not forget about the colossal squid, the largest invertebrate on Earth. This titan of the deep has adapted to hunt in the dark using its giant eyes, the size of dinner plates, to spot the faintest glimmers of light. These creatures are not just interesting, they're inspiring. They've pushed the boundaries of what we thought possible for life on Earth. They've adapted to environments so harsh, so alien, that they've become aliens themselves. These alien-like beings are a testament to life's resilience and adaptability. Now let's plunge into the realm of underwater anomalies that baffle even the most seasoned scientists. Starting off, imagine a gigantic underwater sinkhole its azure depths reaching down into the abyss. This, my friends, is the Great Blue Hole located off the coast of Belize. It's a massive submarine sinkhole, over 300 meters across and 124 meters deep. Formed by a collapse of a limestone cave system thousands of years ago, it's a wonder that continues to mesmerize divers and marine scientists alike. Next, we venture into the fiery domain of underwater volcanoes. Yes, you heard it right. Volcanoes beneath the waves. These are not your average volcanoes, though. They're called hydrothermal vents, and they spew out water heated to incredible temperatures by the Earth's magma. 
These vents are home to some of the most extreme and bizarre life forms on the planet. The creatures here have adapted to thrive in conditions that would be deadly to most other life. How's that for a lesson in resilience? Finally, let's drift over to the eerily beautiful brine pools. These are underwater lakes so salty that they can kill most marine life. But much like the hydrothermal vents, life has found a way. Certain creatures like the aptly named pickleworm thrive in these extreme environments. These brine pools are a testament to the adaptability of life, showing us that even in the most hostile conditions, life finds a way. Oh, and did I mention that these brine pools are so dense that submersibles can actually float on them? It's like an underwater version of the Dead Sea. In exploring these underwater anomalies, we're reminded of the ocean's dynamic, ever-changing nature. Each one is a world within a world, hosting unique ecosystems and presenting us with mysteries that we're only just beginning to unravel. These anomalies serve as a reminder of the ocean's dynamic, ever-changing nature. But how do we unravel the mysteries of the deep when it's so inaccessible? Imagine standing on the edge of a vast, unexplored wilderness. This isn't an alien planet or a distant galaxy, but right here on Earth. We're talking about the deep sea, the final frontier on our planet that we're still struggling to understand. So you might wonder, how can we study something so remote, so extreme, and so inaccessible? Thankfully, human ingenuity has devised ways to breach this barrier. The tools of the trade, submersibles, remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, and sonar mapping. Submersibles are like submarines but smaller and designed for deep sea exploration. They are equipped with powerful lights and cameras to capture images of the alien world beneath. Some can dive up to seven miles below the surface into the deepest parts of the ocean, like the Mariana Trench. In these extreme depths, they've discovered new species, underwater volcanoes, and even found evidence of life in the most inhospitable environments. ROVs, on the other hand, are unmanned vehicles controlled from the surface. They are tethered to a ship, providing a real-time video feed and allowing scientists to explore the deep without leaving the deck. ROVs can venture into areas too dangerous or narrow for manned submersibles, making them invaluable in the quest to map the ocean floor. Speaking of mapping, sonar technology has revolutionized our understanding of the sea's depths. Sonar uses sound waves to map the sea floor creating detailed images of underwater mountains, valleys, and trenches. This technology has helped us discover underwater mountain ranges longer than the Andes or the Himalayas. Through these methods, we've been able to explore only a fraction of the deep sea. It's estimated that we've seen less than 5% of the ocean floor. But every expedition brings new discoveries, new species, and new insights into our planet's most mysterious realm. Through these methods, we inch closer to understanding our planet's final frontier. Why should we bother to explore these dark, inhospitable depths, you may ask? Well, there are countless reasons why ocean exploration is crucial, and they stretch far beyond simple curiosity or the thrill of discovery. Firstly, our oceans are integral to understanding climate change. The ocean is the Earth's largest carbon sink, absorbing about a quarter of all carbon dioxide emissions. By exploring the deep sea, we can gain invaluable insights into how this process works and how we can potentially enhance it. Moreover, the ocean currents act like a conveyor belt, redistributing heat around the planet and influencing our climate. To fully grasp the complexities of our changing climate, we must delve into the deep blue. Secondly, the ocean is a treasure trove of potential new resources. It's teeming with unique organisms that have adapted to survive in extreme conditions. These adaptations can lead to new pharmaceuticals, biofuels, and other innovations. For instance, did you know that deep sea sponges have already been used to develop cancer treatments? Or that the bioluminescent properties of certain deep sea organisms are being studied for potential use in medical imaging? The possibilities are as vast as the ocean itself. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, ocean exploration is key to understanding and preserving our planet's biodiversity. The deep sea is the largest habitat on Earth, yet it's the least explored and understood. Every expedition uncovers new species, each more bizarre and fascinating than the last. 
By studying these organisms, we can learn more about the intricate web of life that exists beneath the waves and how to protect it. The deep sea may be out of sight, but it should never be out of mind. After all, every journey of discovery begins with a dive into the unknown. So let's keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving into the mysteries of our planet's last frontier, the ocean's depths.